Alright everyone, now we're going to set up Roho in your sub account. So to start, we're going to click on the location custom menu link. So this is the location custom menu link that we added. Alright, so click on this. And it's going to have this button that says click to activate AI, so click that. And what this does is basically it generates an API key for the AWS API gateway, so you can use all of our Python functions. Now, you'll see there's two input fields right here and a message that says add your API keys to continue. So the first thing that we need is the CRM API key, which is the API key for the sub account. Okay, so to get that, we're going to go to settings over here. All right. So click on settings and under business profile, we're just going to scroll down and then we're going to copy our API key. So if you see the API key right here, just press that clipboard to copy it. All right. Now press go back and go back to your um, custom menu link for the location. So now that we have the CRM API key, we need the OpenAI API key. All right, so the OpenAI key that you created, just paste that into there. Right, once you have that, just paste it into there and press Save Changes. Now this is running another API call to our function on AWS to test those keys. And if they both work, you'll get this message. If they don't work, then you'll get an error message, and it's most likely with your OpenAI key. All right, so after we save it, all right, so now we're going to go set up the chatbot or the AI agent. So over here in this menu, click chatbot, click the first one. And then we have a convenient checklist to set up our bot. All right, so we're going to click general info first. And this is basically just some general information about your business and your new AI employee. All right, so I'm actually going to load a template here. I'll be making more templates um, for you guys, but I'm going to load the AI marketing agency template. So if you want to load one of these templates in, all you do is press load template and click AI marketing agency or whatever template, and then press load template. And there you can see that it's populated with all of our fields, right? So the AI name is the name or the identity that you're giving um, the AI. The business name is just the name of your business and then the business type industry type of your business the website slash cta link is for if you want your bot or agent to send out a link at the end of the conversation or at any point in the conversation whether that's a calendar link uh, a link for a sales funnel right a link for a form some real estate listings you would just place that here okay the second part which is the intro message and the brief. So the intro message is the first message that your AI agent will send out. So when you trigger it, when someone submits a form, when someone sends a keyword, it will send this message out. You can say, hey, contact first name. This is Daniel from Excent AI, our made up company. Are you interested in scaling your business with our AI software? So it's a good idea to ask a question in the, um, in the intro message just to provoke a response, right? Just to get a response from the lead. And the brief, this really should be no more than five sentences. Um, and what this is, is basically an introduction from you to your new AI agent, your new AI employee. So this is you talking to your new employee. Hey Daniel, welcome to Excent AI. You're gonna be helping us set appointments with leads interested in our AI software. So super, super simple. No need to write a bunch of stuff out. Uh, just a couple sentences, All right? So save those changes. Now on to the next. So these FAQs were from our template, right? But if you look at them, what is Roho? Roho is a cutting edge AI automation software. How do they help, right? Just some um, FAQs for your bot. Now. FAQs are very, very important because this is the 
majority of the data that your bot will be pulling from when answering questions, when conversating. Um, so make sure to include anything you need to um, about your business. Now if you want to train it from your website, all you have to do is press train from URL, then train from new site. And this is very unique the way that I have set this up. So every other, you know, AI website training, what the only thing they're doing is basically just scraping the data, scraping the text from the website. But what this does, I've actually coded it so it scrapes the source code from the website. And then after that, it passes that into another function to OpenAI and asks OpenAI to generate FAQs. So it's basically generating FAQs from your website, which is very powerful. All right, once it's loaded, just press previous jobs. And then you can see we have 11 FAQs that we have generated from our website. How does Roho AI integrate with other apps, right? So these are all generated by AI, the question and the answer. So I'm just gonna press add FAQs. And then lastly, go back to FAQs here and just press save FAQs. All right, awesome. So now we have all of our FAQs slash training data slash knowledge. The next step is to make a script, all right? So the script, questions, conversation flow, this just gives your AI a general guide of how you want the conversation to go. So if you have some questions that you need to ask, make sure to include them in here. But notice how all of the um, all of the script steps are kind of broad. They're not exact, you know, script pieces. They're things like ask the lead what kind of business, ask the lead, tell the lead. So it's more of directions, right? Not not really a script. All right. So the first one we say ask the lead. Okay. All right, so the next um, part of our agent here that we have is something that's very unique and extremely powerful. This technology can be used to do pretty much anything um, for automating. So extract values will basically extract values, custom fields, and conditions from a conversation. So if you define a custom value interested in scaling and set it as a true false, then we're gonna give this description whether or not the lead is interested in scaling. So if the lead is interested in scaling as determined by the AI from the conversation, then the interested in scaling tag will be added, right? Another example, we could say integration budget. We've got a whole number. We'll say the leads budget for a custom AI integration. So that will then save as a custom field of the type number, right? A number, custom field, and it will represent um, the lead's budget for the integration. And that's pulled out by the AI, by OpenAI. So super powerful stuff here, All right? And then lastly, we have just a little interface that I made to test your bot, make sure everything's working. All right, so there goes our intro message. And notice how I just included all those random characters at the end. Um, any other AI, conversational AI, is going to basically give you a response that says, sorry, I can't assist you, or something like that, right? But Rojo is you know, smart enough to realize that that's a typo or a, or a mistake, so. 
retail and business, right? So this is great um, for you guys to test out your, your bot before you actually deploy it. So as you can see, it's going along the script perfectly. So this is a car detailer that makes 40K. Right. All right, and that is the initial setup of the agent, the AI agent. So, yeah. You can always go back here and change anything whenever, right? But that is essentially how you set up the AI agent.